Hey everyone, Gear here. I'll be going over the bow sight that I use on my Halon 6 in my videos. I've received quite a few questions on exactly what set am I using, how many pins do I have, what size are those pins, what is my pin configuration, why do I use the sight, and I just kind of wanted to do a formal video and really let everybody know exactly what I'm using, the pros and the cons to the sight that I'm using, and why I went with Spot Hogs. So uh, this video is going to really touch bases on all that stuff. It's going to give some really good tips. If you want to use a, a dovetail, there's some definite benefits to it. And I uh, hope that you guys enjoy the video. Alright guys, so this is the site. This is the 7 pin Hoggett on a dovetail. And this is what I use. I literally just took this off of my Halon 6, put it on my workbench so I could better handle it in the video and show you exactly what I use. Now when I say dovetail, what they mean by dovetail is this bar between here and here. This is where the adjustments happen to keep it farther away from your riser or closer to your riser. Now that does two things. That allows you to see your target better, it makes your pins a little bit even finer and smaller, and you can focus on your target better. On the flip side of that though, your pin will be dancing a little bit more as any movement will show up a little bit more the farther away from the riser it is. So, another thing that that does, the second thing that that does is if I want more pin gap, and I put that thing farther away from my riser, you're going to see my pins go like this and get a lot farther and farther apart. So I'll show you right here real quick um, that my pins are really gapped. So this allows me basically to see all of my target at whatever distance I'm shooting. So my top pin is going to be 30 yards, that's 40 yards, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then 100. All right, so you've seen my pins. You see what I look at when I'm making a shot. I want to go over a quick couple adjustment tips. If you're sighting in your bow and you're running out of adjustments, which does happen every once in a while, I've personally had to deal with it. But there's ways around busting your adjustment screws off, which some guys do on these sights. Uh, Spot Hog has made these screws stronger by changing the way they make them. But you can still bust them off if you really do try and put some torque into it. But sometimes you run out of adjustments here on these adjustment hash marks both horizontally and vertically and instead of just screwing that screw farther and farther and farther or out and out and out and putting too much tension on that screw and busting it off what you can do is the way that your sight comes packaged it comes packaged like this with the two screws in here I'll try and get a better view of that real quick so you've got the back bracket here that screws in you got your major housing right here and you got your pretty much your dovetail bracket right there and so let's say I'm shooting to the right, I've ran out of adjustments. What I want to do is I want to bring this out, swip, swap it on that side, and then screw that back in there. You can do it from the other side as well, it doesn't really matter. But you just move that whole thing, three hash marks worth of adjustments by using that little bracket. Now this bracket comes stock with the sight, but a lot of people I don't think use it like it should be used. So just a simple little bracket. Let's say if I'm shooting to the left, it comes factory stock, like this right here well all you gotta do is push that bracket on the other side and there you go it's pretty simple so use those instead of using your adjustment screws if you keep bottoming them out your adjustment screws use that little bracket get that housing close to where it needs to be stay within the hash marks here these are great sites um, I absolutely love mine my groups got tighter when I switched to them and I hope you guys can enjoy your spot hog as much as I do mine thanks for watching guys I'll see you on the next one